A big thanks to Canon for sponsoring this week's video. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. Right, carrying on the printing theme, I thought it'd be a good idea just to go over a few papers and what my choices are for a certain image. Now, I've gone for a woodland image, I'll pop it on the screen now, and one of my favourite ancient oaks from the New Forest, and this to me is is a really good example of getting the best out of a print and choosing or making sure I choose the right paper. Now, as you can see on this oak, the bark is tremendous. There's some fantastic textures there. We've got some highlight tones. We've got some shadows, got some soft areas. Um, and I think this, this image has got a lot of what you need to bring out a great image on the right paper choice. So I've gone for four different paper choices. Now, the Pro Platinum, which is that real high gloss that I used for last week's image on the Seascape, I think really high glosses for black and whites and for high coloured uh, images. So I'm not sure that's going to work, but we'll see. So we've gone for the Pro Platinum. I'm going to try a premium matte, which is what is currently being printed at the moment. Um, that might bring out the textures a bit more than a gloss, but we'll see on that one. I've gone for the Luster, which is one of my favourites. It's in between. It's got just a nice sheen to it. It's got some depth to it with that matte finish, not so much sheen, so that should bring out the textures of that bark and, and the leaves and the branches. So I've got, gone for that one, and we've gone for a fine art rough. So that's a really heavy paper, so we'll see how we get on with that. Like I said, it's just coming off on the, which one's coming off now? The matte, on the matte paper. I've already printed off the image on the luster, and that looks fantastic. It's a nice heavyweight paper, that. Colours are good. But um, anyway, what I'll do is, without further ado, I'll get all four printed off and then we'll go through the different textures and see which one suits this image best. Right, so that's the fourth print off, the Fine Art Smooth. Here we go. The colours, as you can see, if you compare it to the luster, let's just slip the luster out. The colours do vary a little bit. You can see, I think, because of the rough paper, it's slightly different. I might have to do a little bit of editing, but if I, that's the, so that's the luster. You can see really some lovely colour on there. And then if I just slide, obviously you can see the difference in texture. There's just a little bit of sheen, just a little bit of sheen around here, but not overpowering. And obviously then that's the rough, and you can see slightly different in colour, but I do love the textures. Really love the textures of this, this bark, it's brought it out lovely. I don't know if it's a bit too rough, because just round this area, you can actually see the texture of the paper, and it's coming through the image. So it might be a little bit too rough, that. But I love the way there's no sheen, there's no shine, Look, you know, I've... If I'm just moving it now, there's no, there's no reflection of anything. I love that aspect of the image. Perhaps with a little bit of editing with the colours and saturations, I might be able to fine tune that, bring the colours out a bit. And uh, yeah, it's, it, and it's a really hard 320 gram paper. So that's the rough. This is the matte. Very little difference. You can see there, slight difference in colours. Again, I've, I've just done the, um, I've just, set the colour profiles, the ICC profiles for the various papers, not done any editing at all. You can see a slight difference in colours there, but the matte is nice, and I think I probably prefer the matte textures because, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on here, but I'll have to do some B-roll, but just round here you can actually see the textures coming through in the image, whereas on here, although we'll have to perhaps edit the colours in a bit, the saturations and whatever. You can't see the texture of the, the paper, this matte paper. It's quite a nice cotton paper. Again, no sheen at all look, so that's really nice. And good quality paper again. That's, what's that? That is 210 grams, so 
110 grams lighter and obviously you can feel the difference. So that's that one. Then we come on to the luster. Now the colours really are popping on that one. Again, just the ICC profile, that's all I've used, the Canon profile. Colours are slightly different, probably a little bit too saturated. I love the colours that's, that it's brought out. It's just a little bit more of a, a warmer tone to this luster paper. And again, if I just move, you can see a little bit of sheen there, look, coming off the studio lights, but it's not, it's not it too intense. And again, behind a frame, that would be nice. I mean, the, the definition is absolutely, the gradation is absolutely fantastic. It does, it does, if you compare that to the rough, which one's the rough? I'm getting mixed up. So that's the rough. Let's just take them there like that. I think it does bring out, this luster definitely brings out more textures in the leaves and the bark itself. Whether or not I give that some saturation and a bit of highlight tones, it would come out to be like this and then give out more texture, I'm not sure. But without any editing at all, there's a lot more texture and a lot more depth to this image, uh, to this print on the luster. And then finally, We've got the Pro Platinum, and again, massive high, look at the gloss on that, it's a fantastic glossy paper, it is. Um, I don't think it, I didn't think it would, it suits more of a black and white or a real high, high saturation print, but not really for woodlands. You can see there's some nice textures, but if we compare the two between the Luster and the Pro Platinum, again, more definition, and more textures in that bark coming out of the paper. So I'm, I'm torn between, I love, I love the fact there's no reflection, no sheen in this, in this rough paper. But did I, if I had to choose without any editing, I think I would go with the luster, simply because it's really brought out the textures lovely in that bark, which I was hoping, you know, obviously it would. Um, and I just think it's a bit, this rough paper just a little bit overpowering perhaps for a woodland scene, but that luster is absolutely lovely, absolutely lovely, a bit, bit oversaturated perhaps, I might have to just play with that, but yeah, really happy with that. And that Pro Luster is 260 grams going in, not quite as heavy as the, the, fine, art, the fine art rough, but Still a nice, a nice dense paper. So there we are, that's the difference. I think for my woodland, for this particular image, and again, this is only my thoughts only, but for my, this particular image, I do prefer the luster. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments and let me know what papers you use. Right, jobs are good in. Well, just as another comparison, and what I was about to say has just gone out the window. <laughs> I was gonna say that this was, Obviously, just wanted to speak about this quickly. This was the fantastic groin, the, the print that was featured in last week's video, printed on 300 gram Pro Platinum high gloss paper. Now, as a rule, I've always sworn by black and white probably need to be on gloss. You know, going back to the good old days when photos, when the prints first came out, any black and white was on gloss, and that's what I like to replicate. However, I've just done a bit of a comparison on the 210 gram premium matte and I must say I don't know which one's best this is on the A3 plus now although it hasn't got the the glossiness that, that look to it I think it's actually brought more detail out and uh, oh, I don't know I'm torn between the two now anyway let's just compare them quick on the table right so here's the premium matte which has just thrown me and just comparing the two, obviously, again, absolutely no sheen. There's no reflection, which I really do like, like in that woodland image just now. Here's the real high gloss. You can, you can see the reflection there, look. See the studio lights, massively high gloss. I do love this paper. And now, last week when I printed this off, I thought some lovely drama in it, nice and smooth finish. I think this was at about 11 seconds, something like that. So you've got a nice smooth finish, really brings the image to life. However, if we just compare this area here, there's more definition on the matte paper. 
slightly smoother finish on the gloss and like here the greys look slightly better and I think there's more detail just round just looking at these areas here there's more detail and then as we open it up I think there's more detail if we just slide it that way there's more detail in the wood itself and, and the you know the, just the age and the nets and again here you can see I don't know if you can quite see there the wispiness of the waves that I've caught there's more depth and more definition there than there is in this smoother finish on the gloss so I am really torn between the two now I don't know but just looking you know looking at the sand and if we look at the the base of the images there I don't know if you can really make it out but again there's more there's more detail in the base of the the image as well base of the photo compared to the gloss so it's really thrown me but uh, <laughs> I'll have to get it in a frame and uh, and we'll we'll see which one looks best behind glass but yeah that's the premium matte and uh, I'm really pleased I printed it off on that now I just had a bit of an experiment because I really like the look of that yeah, that's re <laughs> that really has thrown me a bit because just looking at because uh, when I composed this in last week's video, I wanted obviously these three groins to be prominent. Yet I still wanted to include the 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 rest of the groins in that gap, and you can see them better. They're more defined on this matte paper than they are on the gloss paper. There's more detail. So yeah, it's, it's uh, I'm really pleased that I had a go at at uh, printing it on the matte paper. Had I just ordered it from the lab. I'd have gone gloss straight away, not even thought twice about it. Now that I've put a black and white seascape on this mat, it's opened up a whole can of worms. <laughs> but definitely, although there's not the punch of the gloss, there's more detail and I think even more drama in this image, in this print, than there was on the gloss. So I might start doing me black and white seascapes, another black and white, you know, like street photography or things like that. Do let me know. Um, if you do any street photography, black and whites, how you print, what, what paper you print on, but it'd be really interesting to see. But yeah, really, really pleased that I had a bit of an experiment. And perhaps, perhaps in another video, I'll print off one or two sports images. Um, you know, again, with all that colour, I'm fairly sure that a gloss paper would, uh, the Pro Platinum would suit, a, you know, a, a highly saturated sports image. But yeah, we'll, we'll perhaps feature that in another video coming up. But anyway... Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate all your support. Thanks to Canon. Massive thanks to Canon for sponsoring this video. And um, it really is interesting. The, the more that I print, the more that I'm learning about printing. I wish I'd been printing years ago. But anyway, you live and learn. Every day is a learning day, as they say, especially in photography. But anyway, thanks again. All uh, the links to the Canon Pro 300 printer will be in the description below, as well as lots of other... Uh, Canon related links I'll, I'll, I'll list as many as I can do get in touch with the guys they're so helpful like I mentioned in the last video um, when I was photographing sport and I had a damaged bit of kit or whatever Canon Pro services absolutely fantastic second to none service and uh, yeah highly rate them I'll be a Canon man for life that's for sure but uh, yeah thanks again to Canon thanks for watching guys look forward to all your comments and uh, yeah until next week take care catch up soon